Hey guys, what's up? It's Dakmak here, and uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a guide on my top 5 tips on how to get better at Apex Legends. So, Apex Legends is a new game that, well, relatively new game that um, EA dropped quite on surprise. It's basically a game that has all these different legends as they're called and all these different legends have different um like abilities that can give you ad advantage in fights and stuff and the game's only playable in squads of three so the game is quite different from fortnite and i'm really enjoying it i'm gonna be sharing with you guys now my top five tips on how to get better at apex legends Okay guys, so my first tip for you guys is that you guys do want to definitely join a community, a Discord server, or something like that. This game is available on PC, Xbox, and the PS4. So, on the PS4, there's this thing, it's called Communities. You just, um, basically just go there, search for Apex Legends, there's a bunch of open ones, and, uh, you just hit join on one or two. There's plenty of open parties, you just see one that doesn't have three people in it, you join it, and you have fun, you play, and most people with parties would have a mic, otherwise it doesn't make sense to create a party. Um, on Xbox it's a similar process on on PC all you gotta do is you just gotta search for um, Apex Legends discord servers and you will find many now the reason why I'm saying this is because although this game they did put the developers they put some effort into trying to make you able to communicate without a mic it's still just not it's not where it needs to be if you wanted to play completely without a mic and have the same advantage and sort of like team chemistry with someone who does have a mic so you guys wanna have a mic and you wanna join a community join a party join a discord server and play this game the right way because when you do that you're more likely to win you're more likely to get kills it's it's you're more likely to just kind of know who who's using their ability when what they're seeing and that in turn can help you guys win and give you an advantage in a fight so you want to have a mic and you want to play with people who have mics so that's my first tip okay guys so my next tip for you is that you do want to get off the dropship when there aren't many squads left in it like you will be able to see how many squads are left and this just kind of um, increases your chance of survival as people will go to a lot of people do tend to drop off quite early and they do die so my third tip for you guys is also to have a medic on hand it's called a lifeline in this game so when you're selecting your legends you guys always want to pick um, you guys always want to make sure at least one of you plays as a lifeline actually only one of you can play as a lifeline it's just super useful her abilities like you can after a fight you can like this you see this thing I just put down this is her basic ability and this thing basically can heal you to max health and it can heal all your teammates and it's just super good so that's my third tip for you guys um, and I'll be right back with the next tip okay so my next tip for you guys is to use the wall run feature in this game see that see this you think you can't climb this no you can and a lot of people might not know how to so it's pretty simple on PlayStation all you gotta do is hold down X on PC space and whatever the equivalent of jump is on um, Xbox that's what you gotta hold down and that will get you to cl climb up walls it but it's gotta be like something like you could grab like see for example this one is possible but like if you wanna climb up like a mountain it probably won't happen for you guys so that's tip number four Okay, so my next tip for you guys is you guys, one of you also wants to take a Pathfinder in addition to a Medic because Pathfinders can do something that nobody else can and it's true and it's very good. So what they can do is there are tower, there are places in the game where a Pathfinder can actually see where the next circle is and that can give you a significant advantage in a match. So you guys really should have one Pathfinder on your team.